A full parking lot means a full roster of golfers. Your TV, a very proud sponsor of the first ever North Bay Open. On deck, your TV, Demers, Windsor, Clark, DeGagne. Well, excited that, uh, you know, uh, not only uh, the golfers jumped on board, but also the sponsors that came on board as well. So, uh, yes, it came together quickly. But what's exciting is that there's four major charitable organizations that came together in a short period of time for the first ever North Bay Open here at Osprey Links. Through a typical summer, there are dozens of charity golf tournaments in our area. In 2020, many of them were cancelled, so the North Bay Open comes at a time when fundraising is very much needed. HANS, the Family Help Network, one of the four not-for-profits to benefit from today's sold-out tournament. HANS is certainly one of those agencies that has an independent golf tournament every year as a fundraiser, and ours was cancelled because of COVID. Um, and I just think it's amazing to bring the four agencies together and have one golf tournament that supports, as you said, all very deserving agencies. Kids and families don't exist in bubbles. Um, lots of families would have would make use of the services of all four agencies or one or two at a time. And so I think um, rather than competing, but sending a message of solidarity and support for all of our children and, and families in our community, I think is a really great message. The Canador Foundation also on board this Thursday. We assist our students. Uh, the foundation's there to support our students from scholarships, food, technology. Um, our foundation even supports applied research. And, you know, where our faculty and our students uh, being involved in uh, education. Um, but for today is more of us being a part of three other charities in North Bay and how we can support the community. We get so much from our community and giving back. Um, this was an idea that uh, came yeah. upon with all of us to do something collaborative to North Bay and we thank everyone that is supporting us today in a very short period, three and a half weeks we put this together. The community once again stepped up and supported all three of us and uh, we're excited for the golf today and the 50-50. That 50-50 to benefit kids sport. Ticket sales not exclusive to this day. Well, that'll stay open until October 23rd. So we're hoping to get this monster sized pot uh, to be able to give away to someone in our community and be able to help that many more kids in our community as well. And those tickets are online as well, people can buy? They are. Uh, the website is kidsport5050.com. Um, and I took a quick look at the pot this morning. It's not much, but by the end of the day, uh, we know that that will continue to accumulate. Rounding out the four charities, one kid's place. It's, it's wonderful to have our partners uh, join in this event with us. Um, and yeah, certainly with COVID, it's, uh, it's been difficult in terms of running these kinds of events. And so most of them, have, of course, have been canceled like everything else. Uh, so yeah, it's wonderful to, uh, to have the, the participants come in. Um, certainly, uh, you know, the, the four of us hosting the event, uh, it's absolutely wonderful. While $40,000 will be given out to four charities, a sizable amount of coin will be given out to tournament winners as well. There's $10,000 uh, up for grabs in three different categories. There's a women's category, a mixed category, and a men's category. So uh, we'll be awarding that to uh, and splitting up the purse uh, later on today with the winners. And of course, your, your TV will be covering the event. We'll be shooting it live. Uh, but it's uh, live to tape, so we'll be uh, hosting it myself and Mike Monahan uh, at a later date. And Friday is the later date to check Kojiko News for coverage of the tournament winners. Reporting for Kojiko News, I'm Clark Heipel.